Amen. Hold your head up. God's going to see you through. Amen. Amen. That's the title of my sermon. God will see you through it. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 43. Amen. I appreciate that song. It don't make no, it don't make a difference what you're going through. Amen. It does, it doesn't make a difference what you're going through. God's got you. Amen. Isaiah 43. Amen. And as soon as listen, the, the quicker we can grab a hold to that, to that principle, the better off we'll be. Amen. Isaiah 43, Isaiah chapter 43, and I'll be reading verses 1 through 7. Amen, amen. Isaiah 43, verses 1 through 7. Amen, and scripture reads, But now, thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Saba in your place. Since you were precious in my sight, you have been honored and I have loved you. Therefore, I will give men for you and people for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. I will bring your descendants from the east. And I will gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up. And to the south, do not keep them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the end of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory. I have formed him. Yes, I have made him. Amen. May God add a blessing to the readers doers of his holy word. Amen. Let us go to God in prayer. Father God, once again, we come to you in your son Jesus' name. Father God, we thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy, Father God. We thank you for always being faithful and never leaving us nor forsaking us, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for your peace that surpasses all understanding, O oh Lord God. We thank you for not allowing us to give up when we wanted to give up right now, Father God. We thank you, Father God, even for the storms, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for even for the trials and the tribulations because you're doing a great work in us, Father God, through those situations right now, Father God. And we pray, Lord, that you would just encourage us, O oh Lord God. Give us the endurance right now, Father God, that it takes to live on this side, O oh Lord God. And, Father God, we pray that our minds and our hearts will be open to your word, Father God, that it may take root in our hearts, Father God, for the edifying of your people. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. 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 Like I say, the title of this sermon this morning is God Will See You Through It. Amen. God Will See You Through It. All right? And we know that scripture tells us that many are the afflictions of the righteous. Amen. I just want to talk a little bit this morning, y'all. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivers us out of them all. Amen. Out of them all. Scripture tells us there will be trouble in this world. That's what, that's, that's what, that's what Christ said. There will be trouble in this world, but he says, fear not, I have overcome the world. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? So, so that tells me in, in the walk, in the life of a believer, there are going to be certain times or certain seasons, y'all, that we have, we, we, we're going to go through some, some, some major trials, amen, some, some seemingly unbearable trials. 
I'm talking about the, I'm t- I'm talking about the, t- the type of trials that feels like your world is turned upside down. Amen? There's going to be some trials that come in our lives, y'all, that, 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 that it, 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 just, it just feels like it's taking, it's taking your whole breath away. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? All right? But, but the, the Bible never said we're not going to go through them, okay? But, 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 but he promises to always be with us in the midst of those trials. Amen? And it seems like, y'all, in the midst of some of the worst of trials, sometimes before you can even process the trial that you're going through, there's another one, another devastating trial that's already at your doorstep. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? All right? The matter of fact, James calls them various trials. James calls them diverse trials, meaning they come from all sorts of ways. Amen? But if we, if we believe Scripture, all right, Solomon told us that there will be seasons like that. Do you feel what I'm saying? Solomon told us that there, there's a season, there's a time for everything under the sun. And there will be seasons, y'all, okay, where there's weeping and there's heartache and there's pain. The, but the good thing about season, it can't stay. All right, there's an expiration date to spring. There's an expiration date to winter. There's an expiration date to summer and fall, meaning it has, to, it has to give way to the next season. Do you feel what I'm saying? So it's only temporary, all right? The thing that I think we, we're bothered by the most is how long is this pain going to last? Do you feel what I'm saying? And it's all, a, it's, it's all according to God's timing, all right? One day is like a thousand days or a thousand years to Jesus Christ. So, so, so with us, y'all, we can't so much get caught up in how long is this going to last, all right? What I'm learning from Jesus Christ is to, to ask the question, Lord, what are you teaching me in this trial? Do you feel what I'm saying? What do you want me to get in this? How do you want me to grow spiritually in this season? Do you feel what I'm saying? All right? And I promised myself I would never go through another season or another trial in vain. Do you feel what I'm saying? Now, 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 now that's the sad part about Christians going through difficult times, okay? When you turn to everything else except Jesus Christ, and you never, and you learn nothing in the trial, okay? You learn nothing in the trial. And at the same time, you're no closer to Jesus Christ than, for, than when you went into the trial. Now, that's a sad state. Do you feel what I'm saying? That's a sad state. Now, I don't make light of anybody's trials because we're human. We're flesh. We hurt. We have emotions. Do you feel what I'm saying? They're up and then they're down. Okay? We have thoughts of reason in our minds. Why did this happen to me? Why did this happen to me? How long is this thing going to last? All right? And, our, and listen, our flesh, our flesh has a way of playing tricks on us. Okay? Our flesh and our emotions, because our emotions will tell us this thing will never go away. That's what our emotions will tell us. This thing right here will never go away. All right? This pain will never go away. This trial will never go away. And that's when Satan starts to play mind games on us as well. Amen? But we got to lean on the truth of God. That's when we got to tap into the power and the spirit of God. All right? Because he said, when you worship me, you have to worship me in spirit and in truth. God don't operate in emotions. All right? He understands our emotions. But his truth doesn't operate by our emotions, okay? And the, and, the, and, the, and the thing about it is, too, when you're going through these trials, y'all, these, these, these devastating trials, one of the hardest things is to continue to try to cope in life, okay? Because at the same time, life don't stop, all right? Just because you're going through a trial, that doesn't mean life stops. You still have to fulfill your, fulfill your duties, amen, as a spouse. You still have to fulfill your duties as an employee on the job, right? 
You still got to get, you got to pay bills. Do you feel what I'm saying? If you're in school, you still have to fulfill your duties as a student. All right? So life, life, listen, life don't stop, okay? And the world keeps spinning. But sometimes, y'all, it does get hard to face, to face another day. All right? Knowing that you're in this pain. Okay? Knowing that you're, listen, to face another day and the worry hadn't went away. To face another day and this pain and this guilt and this shame still hadn't went away. Now it's been weeks. Now it's been months. Now it's been years. And why am I still dealing with this pain? All right? Am I the only one in the house this morning? Amen? Why am I still dealing with this pain? All right? Because it's flesh. That's human nature. Amen? But I have to remind myself, y'all. Amen? I have to remind myself that it's all in God's timing. It's all in God's timing. All right? Don't ever let... Listen, one thing we have to stop doing to... Like I said, I'm not making light of anybody. We have to stop rushing our trials away. Okay? And I know that's hard to do because we want to do anything and everything to try to get rid of this pain. All right, we want to try to do any and everything to get rid of this, these thoughts, these, these painful thoughts that keeps coming up. Do you feel what I'm saying? But, but at the same time, y'all, we, that's why the Bible speaks so much of the words endurance, perseverance, and patience. In the New Testament, the Bible speaks of that so many times. Endurance. It takes endurance to live on this side, y'all. It takes endurance, all right? You don't have to be, look, the race ain't given to the swift, amen? But it takes endurance and it takes perseverance, all right? That means you may get knocked down a hundred times, but, 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 it, but it's endurance and perseverance that, 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 that pushes you to get back up and to keep going. Do you feel what I'm saying? And then the perseverance, the Bible said, it worketh patience. Patience. Amen. And at the same time, in the midst of those things, God is building your faith. All right. God is building your faith. That's why this trial is humanly impossible for you to get out of. It's humanly impossible. Amen. And I like to say that God has tailor made our trials for us. I can't walk in your shoes. Amen? I can't walk in your shoes. You can't walk in mine. I can pray for you. You can pray for me. Amen? We can lean on each other. But that's your faith walk. Amen? That trial was tailor-made for you. Amen? And I like to believe, listen, when God said, listen, I don't put no more on you than you can bear. There's something inside of you. That God sees that none of us, none of us see. Do you feel what I'm saying? There's a supernatural, supernatural strength on the inside of you that God is trying to tap into. He's trying to get you to tap into it. Do you feel what I'm saying? That's why you're in this season of the trial. Amen? And if we handle it right, if we handle it right, God is ready to do some amazing things with this trial. Amen? So, 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 so in all of this, in all of this, like I said, you will have seasons, y'all, where it feels like life is swallowing you whole, okay? So what do you do? What do you do when you, when you, when you get to that place, y'all, where you feel like it's just so, it's just, this is too overwhelming. This is too overwhelming, all right? My first thing, what I would say, y'all, just breathe. Just breathe. Give yourself, a t- give yourself a chance to just breathe. Shut the door, turn off the phones, turn off everything, amen, and find you a quiet place with your Lord and Savior so you can breathe. You ain't got to entertain everything and everybody. Do you feel what I'm saying? You need a quiet place sometimes so you can just catch your breath. Let me just, let me just catch my breath, all right? But, 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 but at the same time, y'all, you have to lean on Scripture, all right? You have to lean on Scripture. Find you a Scripture. Find you a promise of God, 
Amen. If you don't, if you don't know how to, how, to, how to search your Bible, just Google promises of God. Google promises of God, and it, and it will give you a plethora of scriptures of promises of God. And you, listen, you don't need to memorize many. Just pick one and hold on to that thing. All right? Pick one and, and meditate on it. Meditate on it day and night. That's what he told Joshua. That's what he told Joshua. He said, listen, Joshua, I want you to put this word in your heart, okay? And I want you to meditate on it day and night because you're about to go through something. Okay, you about to go through something that you've never encountered before. You've never been a leader before. All right. I know I've chosen you for this, but you about to go through some storms. You about to go through a battle. Amen. Some serious battles. But, but, but in order for you to be victorious, amen, and to keep your mind, amen, I need for you to meditate on this word day and night. And guess what he said? Then you will be prosperous in all of your ways. Do you feel what I'm saying? That's even in suffering, y'all. That's even in suffering. Okay? When you meditate on the, on, listen, when you meditate on God's word day and night, okay, it gives you a supernatural strength in the midst of your trials. Because God don't always take the trial away. I know we like to pray, Lord, take this away. Lord, let this cup pass from me. Amen? We like to pray, Lord, 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 Lord remove, remove this. Remove, and sometimes it's people, Lord, remove this person out of my life. They're tormenting me. Amen? Remove, remove this situation. But sometimes God allowed that thing to stay. Amen? Because he's working on you. Amen? He's, he's, work, he's working on you. But, 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 but I encourage you to find scripture, y'all, to hold on to. And if you start to meditate on it day and night, Day and night, all right, little by little, you start to build your faith, okay? And that's what it's all about. Y'all, I want to speak to y'all heart this morning, okay? Because we all go through things, y'all. We all go through, I mean, some devastating trials. But it's the, it's the Word of God that's going to sustain us through it all, all right? When you meditate on the promises of God, He starts to increase your faith little by little. Okay, then you start to feel empowered. Okay, and if you listen close enough, you'll hear God say, You know what, son? It's gonna be okay. You know what, daughter? It's gonna be okay. I know what you're dealing with, but 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 you have to meditate on his word to, to be able to get to that place. Amen. Listen, Psalm 38 says this. Psalm 38, 32 and 8 says, I will instruct you. And teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. That's a promise, y'all. That's a promise. When you're, dealing with, when you're dealing with devastating trials, you have to lean on God. He said, I will instruct you. Because you go through seasons in life, you just don't know what to do. You don't know which way to turn. Your flesh doesn't know which way to turn. And that's why, and, and, and Satan will catch us at, at our lowest point, in our most vulnerable places in life, y'all. Okay? But that's why we have to lean on him because, listen, because lean on God because Satan, like I said last week, he wants you to turn to the things that's unproductive. He wants you to turn to the things that's going to destroy your life. Okay? That's why we have to lean on Jesus Christ. Isaiah 26 and 3 says, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind are stayed on you because he trusts in you. You will keep those in perfect peace, all right, whose mind is stayed on you, okay? It's, it's what are you focused on in the middle of your trial? What are you replanning your mind over and over again? Is it God's word? That's a real question. And I know the answer because our flesh don't want to go to God's word. We want to go to everything else because we're fleshly people. But there's promises of God in this word. Listen, in this Bible, it's promises of God, y'all, that will not fail us. Okay? And I thank God that he allowed, he allows those, the characters of the Bible to go through storms before we even got here. All right? To, to, to be examples for us, okay? Psalm 69 and 1. 
David was in a place, y'all, to where he got, he, he was, he felt overwhelmed, okay? And scripture says, this is what he said, save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in the deep. I sink in the deep where there is no standing. I can't even stand no more. Somebody just threw me in 10 feet of water and I can't swim. Y'all know, y'all know when you're in the water, you just, you just want to feel the ground. And sometimes that water overtake you where you can't feel the ground, you start to panic for those of us who can't swim. <laughs> Do you feel what I'm saying? Hey Amen. I don't know about the swimmers in here, but for those of us who act like we can swim, but we really can't, but we really can't, but when you don't feel that bottom, you start panicking, looking for, let me, let me, let me put my feet on solid ground. That's what David said. I done got out here in the deep where there's no more standing. I can't stand. Okay? Then he says this. Listen, I have come into the deep where the waters overflow me. I am weary with my crying. And my throat is dry. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm, 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 I'm tired from crying so much, Lord. That's what David is saying. I'm wore out. I'm exhausted from crying so much over this trial. Matter of fact, I, I didn't cry so much, my throat is dry. That's what he's saying. That's, that's, a, that's a real situation when you're going through a real trial. Amen. And his flesh is crying out, y'all. His flesh is crying out. All right. And he says, my eyes fail while I wait for my God. I can't see past this circumstance, Lord. I'm waiting on you, but I can't see past it. I can't see the silver lining in the sky. Amen, because all I see is clouds. This is, a, this, is, this is David being real with his God. This is David being real with his God. I can't see past this. Amen. But, but, but what I love about David as well, when God said he's a man after my own heart, he never stayed in his flesh the entire time. And I thank God for all the songs that he wrote. Amen. All the psalms that he wrote. His flesh was crying out. But, but on the flip side, David's spirit would turn around and say things like, but let your salvation, oh God, set me on high. I know I'm going through right now, but Lord, but let your salvation, let your rescue, let your power come in and set me on high. I will forever praise thee. The name of your, the name of your good name. Amen. You shall increase my greatness, and comfort me on every side. On the flip side, y'all, that's when, that's when it takes for us to tap into our spirit, man. Do you feel what I'm saying? Be, be, because our flesh will always, always let us down. Amen? And I love it when David said, listen, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. Do you feel what I'm saying? The Lord is my rock. That was David's mind shifting from carnal to spiritual. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? All right? It's okay to go through because we're going to go through. But we can't stay in it because we don't have power to keep living this life if we stay in the muck, if we stay in the mire, if we stay in that depressed state. Do you feel what I'm saying? It's, it's natural. It's natural. But we have to shift our mind and, and, and shift it to the very one who promises to never leave us nor forsake us. Even our Lord and Savior, y'all, had a moment in the Garden of Gethsemane. Amen. He had a fleshly moment. Well, our Lord and Savior was going through agony. Scripture said it got so bad that he was sweating drops of blood. Do you feel what I'm saying? And he asked and he begged and he pleaded. His fleshly, his fleshly side said, Lord, if there's any other way, take this cup from me. Because this trial right here, I don't want to deal with it. That's what his flesh was saying. Amen? That's what his flesh was saying. All right? But scripture says there was angels that came to minister to Jesus Christ. Y'all, we got angels that's minister to us right now. But we have, listen, we have to have our ears open to hear God's word. Yeah. All right? But at the end of the day, God, listen, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ allowed his, his, God's, his father's voice to out trump his own fleshly voice. Yeah. Do you feel what I'm saying? That's the place we have to get through. Who's, whose report will you believe? 
Whose voice will you listen to? All right? The Bible says, my sheep hear my voice. Y'all, you, you got to get used to hearing your Savior's voice. All right? Because he, speak, because he changed in that moment. He said, you know what? Not by my will, but by your will. I want to please the Father. Amen? I really want to please the Father. Okay? In, in our text of Isaiah, okay? In our text of Isaiah, Scripture says that Isaiah was one of the major prophets, okay? They even, they even argued that he's, he, he, may be one of, he may be the greatest prophet because the words that he heard from God, they were precise in coming to fruition, okay? They were really precise, okay? Matter of fact, his name means, his name means one who will deliver, amen? That's what his name means, okay? Salvation is the Lord, I mean, but, 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 but. But God used Isaiah to, to, to prophesy to his people, okay? He used Isaiah to prophesy to his people, and he was speaking through Isaiah. And the word says that, but now thus says the Lord who created you. Now I'm speaking, okay? Your emotions have spoke long enough. Do you feel what I'm saying? You've allowed your situation to speak to you and dictate how you feel Long enough. Do you feel what I'm saying? But, but God said, listen, now I'm talking. All right? Now I'm speaking to you. Okay? And I want you to listen to this. First of all, it's he who formed you. That's who's speaking. I created you. And the first thing I want to tell you is to fear not. Okay? Because I've already bought you with a price. I redeemed you. Okay? You belong to me. That's God reassuring us, and I, and, I, and I love God so much because he always steps in at the right time and reminds me of who I am. Amen. Amen? He reminds you, son, daughter, you belong to me. All right? I understand these things are going on in your life, but you still belong to me, the one who created you. Okay? But he went on to say he, he, was, he, he gave them reassurance that they belonged to him, and God was, was, was beginning to prepare Israel because they was about to go through some serious trials, okay? And he went on to say this. When you pass through the waters, not if. Anybody Bible in here say if? All right, everybody Bible in here say when. When you pass through the waters, okay, I will be with you. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And, and, and through the rivers, they shall not overtake you. You about to go through some storms. That's what he's saying. You about to walk through some raging rivers. Okay? And, 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 and listen, what I love about God is there's no way around it. You got to go through the river. All right? To get to this promised land, you have to go. You have to cross Jordan. Do you feel what I'm saying? But when you go through it, it's not going to overtake you. It's going to feel like it. Amen. It's going to feel like you're drowning. Like, like David said, it feels like the water's up to my neck and I can't breathe. And I don't see no, and I don't see no boats around. I don't see no rescue boats. Amen. Everywhere I turn, there's not an answer for this situation. Do you feel what I'm saying? This thing right here feels like it's overtaking me. But God said, listen, it's not going to overtake you. That's just your feelings. Trust me. In this season, trust me in this season, trust me in this walk of life. That's what he's saying. All right. You can't you can't get out of this one. You can't pray this one away. You can try your best. I hear you. I sympathize with you. I, listen, my heart goes out to you. That's what God is saying. It's just like a loving parent. It's just like a loving parent. We don't want to see our children go through anything. Amen. But, but there's certain things in our lives that, that our kids go through, we can't help them with. Amen? All we can do is, listen, son, daughter, I love you, but I got your back. And I'm going to walk through this thing with you. Do you feel what I'm saying? And, and, and listen, he goes on to say, listen, when you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. When you walk through the fire, it's going to be hot, y'all. There's some trials that's going to burn. 
It's going gonna, it's gonna to be hot. Okay, just like the three Hebrew boys, when they threw them in the fire, listen, and that's the faith we have to walk in, y'all. It's not always easy, okay? They were getting ready to get thrown into this fire. He said, listen, my Lord will deliver me, but even if he don't deliver me, I will never bow down to y'all. Do you feel what I'm saying? Even if he don't, he never changes. God never changes, but when you walk through the fire, when you walk through the fight, the flame shall not scorch you. You know why? Because I am the Lord, your God. I'm the Holy One of Israel. Amen? I'm the Holy One of Israel. All these things that's happening to you right now. And then he goes on to say, I, listen, I've given Egypt for your ransom. Those th listen, the troubles that you're dealing with, okay, the troubles Okay, that's come towards the righteous. I think it's over in Proverbs. The troubles that, that, that came to the righteous, God will allow them to take over the wicked. Do you feel what I'm saying? So those things that's coming against you, it's only temporary. But God is eternal. And he says, I'm walking, I'm walking with you in this thing. Those enemies, that, that the, the enemies that's coming against you, all right, God sees it. God sees it, but he says, fear not. Fear not because I'm with you. I got a purpose in this pain. I got a purpose for this trial. Do you feel what I'm saying? And, and, and that's when he goes on to say, I will bring my descendants from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south. I will say son, daughter, from, to the ends of the earth. I will bring all of them back because you're called by my name. The very thing that's trying to overtake you right now, all right, according to God's expiration date, that thing got to let you go. Amen. Do you feel what I'm saying? It's going to let you go, but it's in God's appointed time. It's in his appointed time. I know, I, listen, I know, listen, you've cried, you've labored. Do you feel what I'm saying? You've poured out, you've pressed through, you've lifted holy hands. Amen. And this thing seems like it still ain't going away, but God sees it. He's in there with you. He's in the fight with you. Amen. He's walking this thing and he, and, and he promises to never leave us nor forsake us. And, and listen, that's what I say. It's always a purpose in your trial. Okay. If you read over in Isaiah 45, the very ones he allowed, all right, to, to, to be overtaken, Ethiopia. Okay, Egyptians, the country of Saba, it got to a place, y'all, to where they were overtaken by other pagan nations. Okay, but but at the end of their reign, y'all, the the Bible the Bible says all the all the all the 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 merchandise that was built up, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna turn around and they're gonna give it to the children of God. Do you feel what I'm saying? All the things that, that was coming against them. And God, listen, God used the trials of the Israelites to affect other nations. Matter of fact, let me read it. Let me read it. 45, 14 says, thus says the Lord, the labor of Egypt and, 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 and merchandise of Cush and the, the, the Sabaeans, men of stature, shall come over to you and they shall be yours. They shall walk behind you. They shall, they, they shall come over in chains, and they shall bow down to you. They will, listen, they will make supplication to you saying, surely God is in you. All right, all right. So even in your, listen, even in your worst of times, God is using your worst of time to influence even your enemies. Do you feel what I'm saying? Those people who doubted you in the midst of it, they're watching how you handle your trial. Do you feel what I'm saying? They're watching how you handle your trial. And your life, your life and how you're handling this, it's affecting those who don't even like you. But they're sitting back and they're watching. Do you feel what I'm saying? Because in the beginning, they wanted Israel to fall. But, 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 but while they're going through the waters and they're going through the fire and they seeing this thing is not overtaking them, do you feel what I'm saying? Not that you don't cry and that you don't hurt, but, you, but they're watching and they, and they seeing, y'all, I, no I know good and well that was a devastating trial. Right. But they still standing. Right. I know good and well that hurt them. 
I know what happened in that marriage, but they still standing. Do you feel what I'm saying? I know what happened with their children, but they still standing. I know what happened between them and their family member, but they still standing. I know they used to be hooked on dope. I, 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 I watched them. Do you feel what I'm saying? But they're still standing. I know the lifestyle that man used to live. Do you feel what I'm saying? I know the pedigree he came from. But he's still standing? He's still standing? Do you feel what I'm saying? I know everything. I know all the, listen, I know all the cards that were stacked against that brother right there. I remember that. Because I was one of the ones who was rooting, for, rooting against him. They root against y'all too. Don't ever, don't ever think they secretly hate you. Do you feel what I'm saying? But, 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 but at the same time, God is using your trial, your pain, amen? Your, listen, your situation to where, to where even your enemies, they can't do nothing but say, you know what? I'm going to follow them because I see the God in them. All right? So in all of this, y'all, don't give up in your trial. It takes perseverance. Amen? It takes, it takes endurance. It takes patience. Matter of fact, the Spirit can't give up. The Holy Spirit that you claim that's on the inside of you, it can't give up. Though your flesh may fail and want to give up, the very nature that God put in you, it can't give up. That's why you didn't throw in the towel. Do you feel what I'm saying? That ain't in our nature no more. To quit. The, the flesh always wants to quit. But scripture says we're partakers of his divine nature now. Do you feel what I'm saying? The spirit is eternal. Amen. So when you feel like quitting, it's going to be the spirit man on the inside of you to say, hey, listen, come on, keep going. Daughter, keep going. Keep pushing. Keep going towards the mark. Amen. You ain't got to take but one step today, but at least take a step. Do you feel what I'm saying? At least take a step. You ain't got to lift holy hands because, listen, because I got you. I'm interceding for you anyway. Sometimes it's hard to even find the words to pray, y'all. But the Bible has us covered. The Bible's got us covered. Scripture said the Holy Spirit make intercessory prayer for us day and night. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That means he's already got a system in place that we can't fail. We cannot fail. So in your worst of times, saints, in your worst of trials, in your worst, always remember that God is in the fight with you. Amen? Amen. Y'all give God a hand clap of praise. He won't leave us. He will not leave us. He will not leave us. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to open the doors of the church. Amen? Maybe you don't know Jesus Christ. Is your Lord and Savior. Amen. We offer Christ this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.